good morning so this morning i just loaded up the uh skid steer from the museum uh we're gonna do we're gonna go and form up a small concrete pad for a shed for my aunt today and yesterday we finished um putting all the pavers back where we put this six inch drain pipe that you guys saw in the last video boom looks like it never happened ran it out to this pop up down here Jose and Freddie are here today working inside the museum on a bunch of repairs Ethan is in the dump truck right now. He just dumped a load of 89 rock for some of the permeable pavers and now he's going to get some paver sand for the sand set pavers. And then I'm going to send him to go get some crushed concrete gravel for the concrete pad and then he's going to meet me there. When I leave here I got to go home and grab the compactor that's still at the house. But let's go ahead and check on Jose and see what he's working on the day. There's a whole bunch of repairs in here. There was a pressure washing company who brought in a 20,000 pound boom lift and they just tore up some pavers. So we got some paver repair area here. Hello, Mary. Good morning. Good morning. And we got everywhere where there's flags, there are repairs. And we even ran out of flags. There's ruts right here from the boom lift. First thing I want to do is measure and mark out the area. You gave what? That's a root pile. Root pile? Yeah. I just said it there for right now, but it's a whole lot of root pile. Oh, roof tile. I thought you said root pile, like no, in the no, sand. No. I was like, whoa.
awesome. And Tracy probably thought the cra trash guys would see it. Oh, now we got an absolute leaker. Go ahead and spray that thing down. Dude, I've never seen something looser in my life. Maybe we could stick it in and prop something up behind it, pushing it into it. That's the only thing I could think of trying to do. Look at that. Oh, we got it all formed up. Forgot to throw the GoPro on. Kept it in the skid steer. that's set up for the shed pad we're leaving this board off until we pour the concrete we need a way to get in with the wheelbarrows so we'll put that in whenever we get to like right here good morning this morning we have a concrete pour a little shed pour that we're doing for my aunt you guys saw me set up earlier it is time to throw some mud down it is 6 30 and the concrete will be here at 7 so we're just gonna get all of our tools and stuff set up over there so we're ready to go had an issue this morning I got our truck and trailer all set up and I couldn't find the keys to the truck this morning so we had to 
last second move everything over to the dump truck but we still made it here with 30 minutes to spare it's like the smallest little patch of rain you've ever seen the early morning mister <laughs> Rain, rain, go away Please come back another day Well, Ethan is off to jump one of the neighbor's cars Guy walked down here and <laughs> Said he needed the, our dump truck to help jump his car I guess the neighbors around him aren't so friendly or something, I don't know Or he didn't want to wake anybody up But, uh Concrete truck's running a little bit late, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem as long as Ethan's not down there for like 30 minutes. If he is, I'm pouring it myself. So, this is going to be one of my first solo pours. I've done a lot of big pours with uh, like 15, 20 guys on a crew that I used to work for. But we had a pump truck and everything like that. We are just wheelbarrowing all of this concrete in there. But it's not that big it's only a 12 by 8 so i figured i would go ahead and test test some of my skills on this i'm gonna hand trowel it hand join it and uh yeah kind of see what it looks like i'm even gonna do a little checkered board finish on it with the broom if i can i'm gonna attempt to so we'll see how it works out but it's just a shed pad so it's all gonna get covered up anyway as long as it's level it's good but I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with it see if I can make it look fancy make it look fancy enough to where you wouldn't want to cover it up with a shed you know <laughs> so, this is my aunt's house too so it's a good time to experiment with stuff when you're working for family because you're not charging them like you charge a normal customer to do something like this so we'll see how it turns out. We're gonna do it, E. Concrete's here. <laughs> Let's see if Buddy's in a bad mood. Maybe, maybe not. What's going on, man? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said you were going to run a little late. That's no problem. Classic. Oh, no. <laughs> what do we got going on back there today? Just a little uh, shed pad, like a little 12 by 8. So we're just going to wheelbarrow it all in there and it shouldn't take us too long. Okay. I'm not even going to clean up here. Okay. Okay. So you guys Sweet. Don't worry about the cleanup. I'm gonna put on one shoe to keep you cleaner yep. and it mixes better. Okay. In the okay. Too. Sweet. Yeah. I can turn the water all the way off. Oh, you're good. Oh yeah, you might have to uh, dump it kind of right on top of mine because it was so wet it didn't really like build up very high. That's that uh, zero insult. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that zero would be that would be hard. That's that like 24 inch slope. Because the more it slumps down, the inches is how far it slumps down. Yeah, it's looking better. That last stuff that came out was looking a lot better. Yeah. All 
All right, now let's use these. Uh, I want to grab the street board and street back a little bit before we get too far. No, the one on the left is the one we're using. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it straight up. Straight up and down. Are you on your side? Yeah. All right. All right, hold up. Now let me pull it back a little bit. Definitely beats mixing by hand. All right. Come back. All right, we got a little hole right here. So let me throw some up in there. Yeah, I feel like you're pulling too far on your side. I need like half an inch over here. So I only have half an, half of the board covering the face over there. Right All right. All right. That's good for now. You need anything from me? Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about time for a Gatorade. Yeah. Where do we want to make this patio? A little patio. No, we Every gotta keep it. Are notorious. It's all mom and dad's doing. Oh yeah. Boxes and stuff. Yep. Bigger than garden rakes and hose. I feel like you. You filled it up the same every time, like you were dialed in on a wheelbarrow load, so. I, I do three spins and stop. <laughs> he's got a thing. It's funny, the other day I start with a, he's a, he's a pump guy, but they were going to do a wheelbarrow job. So he starts off and I put it in my three spins, he's like, yeah, more and more. And he's working with his boss, I said, you wait, he's going to do two of those and not want as much in there. Yeah, exactly. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. They're We're sweating like, like pigs right now. It wasn't even like that I many. Do all the way to the top. I'm like, you realize how much that weighs? And so you hit a little perfect. bump, and it's all in the yard. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's got to be manageable. Yeah. yeah. I did do one on a Saturday that the dad had like a 12 year old open out. <laughs> so he's all gangly and skinny and whatever. So he's pushing back like three times before the wheelbarrow went on yeah, the uh, side. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's not bad for him, but. We paid the trial and thing is it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Get the black one, use the black one. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this hose on so we can hose some stuff off. Like there is a little, this area right here can use a sprinkle with the shovel of concrete for sure. Now nah, I just gotta kinda fill her in with the old bow floater.
Two hundred and something dollars, right? So here I'm putting in my hand joints and we're just using a board because I don't have a pull um, attachment with a joiner on it. So we're running our board and then I'm going to start finishing each square and freshening up the, um, the joints as I go along and I go over it with my knee skids. Sweating like a pig. Where? This. Yeah. Yep, we ain't going to be able to do the crisscross broom. Too hard. It's just, yeah, I need the other pole. This one just ain't long enough. I'm going to need just a... That's a shed pad right there, folks.
That is her. It was a hot one today. And there was a lot of mosquitoes. Felt like, felt like we were in the Amazon rainforest. But that's our first concrete pour of the channel. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one.